in action. How are you doing, sir? Or are you just gonna do a walk through? Why are you gonna confront you? those people like that? We're not sorry. Why are you gonna confront those people? Like that? No, we're actually going. This way, they harass us right now. We don't want them harassing. They wish to try to do that. We've got cameras. I mean, what are we harassing? They're walking by. The officer told us we should stand on the sidewalk and not drive by. So we're taking his advice. That's what okay. he told us. Okay. Where are you guys going? We're just gonna walk through Waikiki right by them all. Okay. Go ahead. We're allowed to street preach here in the city, right? Yeah, he was the one that said that you're better off on the sidewalk, so don't try and drive to it. Oh no. Okay, that's your first amendment right. Gotcha. Yep. Gonna let it go. Now they're going into the Democrat, you know, no justice, no peace, yeah. Yeah, obviously they're Democrats. Yeah, here. let's break some windows and really make a statement. Uh, now you're like Antifa, it sounds like. Sounds like Antifa around here. I know, this is a nice little artery, brother. Where are we going? We're going to sit here until we meet up with Arthur and okay. then they're coming. They should be, they're already right there. Read the Bible, everybody. Don't forget about Jesus Christ in your life. It's going to be important knowing you and I are going to die one day. We're going to die. We're going to meet God. That's the big problem. Is God going to allow you into his holy kingdom? Something you need to concern yourself with before you die. The Bible says prepare to meet God. Are you prepared to meet God? You prepared for today? You took a shower, you brushed your teeth, you got your wallet, you got your sunglasses, you might have some rain gear in your purse. You're prepared for the day, but have you ready? Have you prepared to meet God? Are you ready to meet the God of the Bible? Something you better concern yourself with before you die. We're all going to die, we're all going to meet God. The big problem is where are you going to go? If you're a Catholic, you might believe in uh, purgatory. Everyone claims to go to heaven. The problem is not everyone goes. Most people wind up in hellfire when they die. 
which is why we're trying to get your attention so you don't go to hellfire when you die. Jesus Christ said, if you're ashamed of him and in this adulterous and sinful generation, likewise will he be ashamed of you. That's what Jesus Christ said. Now's the time to acknowledge Jesus. You don't mind acknowledging a politician, but will you acknowledge Jesus Christ? And shame on you, Hawaii, for electing liberal politicians. Politicians that are for homos. Politicians that are for abortion. Not a very good idea. Time for you to repent and know the Jesus Christ of the Bible before you die. The Bible says God is watching you. God is going to judge you and I by not emotion. God's not going to judge you and I by feelings. You and I are going to be judged by the God of the Bible. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Okay, now that we, we're, we're actually gonna move, we're actually gonna move out in a couple of seconds. We're gonna do a yeah, combo. Yeah, okay, just give yeah. us a couple of seconds. Okay, then we brother, I'm, I'm not here for you. No worries, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I appreciate it, brother. I'm good looking. Yeah, we're actually gonna combo down the line here in a moment. Right, yeah, just give us a minute. Do I have time to go to the bathroom right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on over there. Actually, okay. I'm gonna follow you, man. Read the Bible, everybody. Don't forget about Jesus Christ. Problem is, there's a lot of Jesus Christs. If you're a Catholic, you believe Mary is the co-redeemer. If you're a Mormon, it'll change, it'll you change. believe no that the Lucifer and Jesus were brothers. If you're a Muslim, you reject Jesus Christ as the Son of God. If you're a Jehovah's Witness, you believe that Jesus is a created being like Michael the Archangel. But that's not the God of the Bible. That's not the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Welcome to Hawaii. Welcome to the island. If you're staying in a hotel, most likely there's a Bible right in that nightstand. Don't you think maybe God is possibly trying to get your attention today? God is possibly trying to get your attention today. Something you need to concern yourself with before you die. We're all going to die. We're all going to meet God. Some Muslim may, may make a statement for Allah today and may start bombing buildings. This is what Islam does. Unlike Christianity, Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, bled for you, rose from the dead for you. Time for you to repent and serve Him. Obey God. Walk with God. Honor God. Love God. Time for you to get serious about Jesus Christ. The Bible teaches there is a way that seems right to a man and the end is death. There's a way that you think is right and normal. But at the end, you're going to die and you're going to be judged for that. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to get excited over Jesus Christ and what He offers for you on the cross. If there's no repentance in your life, it is very difficult for you to know the Jesus of the Bible. If all you know about God is He is a God of love, a God of forgiveness, you don't know the God of the Bible. You don't know the full character of God. You don't know the full gospel of God. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day. The Bible says God even hates, like in abortion. God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. Like in being a homosexual, God considers such an abomination. That's something God considers hateful. If all you know is God is love, you know a one-dimensional God, and we're trying to make that record straight. The Bible says God is a God of war. God is a jealous God. God is a God of mercy. Time for you to know the God of the Bible. Everyone knows God loves them. That's not the issue today. The issue today is, do you love God? Jesus Christ said, if you love Him, you will obey Him. 
That's what Jesus Christ said. You love him, you will obey him. He didn't say if you love him, go to church on Sunday. He didn't say if you love him, sing a song. He didn't say if you love him, support some TV evangelist. He said if you love him, you will obey him. Time to obey the God of the Bible. Time to get serious about the God of the Bible. Bibles everywhere, even in your hotel room. Maybe God's trying to get your attention for some particular reason. Because we're all going to live, we're all going to die, we're all going to meet God on Judgment Day. As the Bible says, it is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. You are going to be judged for the things you know. And living in America, you've heard about the love of God, the mercy of God, forgiveness of God. And you get all that when you repent. Most ministers don't like to use the word repent. Repent means to change. Turn away from your sin. Time to get right with the God of the Bible, people. Heaven or hell when you die. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Heaven, hell, when you die. There is no reincarnation. You don't die and come back as a bumblebee. You don't die and come back as a fish or a shark. You die and meet the God of the Bible. When you die, you don't go to purgatory and Mary gets you out. When you die, you meet God. Judgment day happens. Then you will be judged by the God of the Bible with God's holy standard. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time to get serious about God. You can watch TV for six or seven hours a day and can't even read the Bible for 30 minutes. You can listen to music for seven, eight hours a day and can't even pray to God for 20 minutes. And yet you say you love God. Yet you say you know God. Jesus Christ said, why call him Lord, Lord, and do not the things that he says? Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Don't wind up in the hellfire when you die. Time to get serious about Jesus Christ. Heaven, hell, when you die. Heaven, hell, when you die. The wages of sin is death. The reason why you will die is because of the sin you've committed in your life. If it's not under the blood of Jesus, if you haven't repented for your sin, time for you to serve the God of the Bible and do it now. God doesn't just put homos and lesbians and fornicators. God puts liars and drunkards into the lake of fire. Read the Bible, everybody. Don't forget about Jesus Christ. Everyone assumes they know Jesus. The problem is, does Jesus even know them? The Bible says we need to cry out to God. We need to repent of our sin. We need to know the God of the Bible. How do you know God? How often do you even read the Bible? How often do you spend time with the holy, righteous God? Most of you know more about sports than you do Bible. Most of you know more about celebrities than you do Bible. Most of you know more about politicians than you do Bible. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to get serious about God. It is noted from heaven how serious you are about yourself. Everything rotates around you. How much God do you have in your life? How much do you know God? Do you care about God? Do you weep for God? Are you concerned about God? Do you fear God? Do you obey God? Something you better do before you die. Heaven or hell when you die, people, let's get serious about Jesus Christ. Do not wind up in hellfire when you die. The Bible makes it very clear. It is appointed unto man once to die. One time you die. Once to die. And after this, the judgment. Judgment. Meaning you're going to be judged by God. By God's word. Not by the Constitution. Not by your emotion. 
not by some minister, not by some uh, democracy. You're going to be judged by God's holy word. Hence the Bible. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to know the God of the Bible. Most of you, all you know about God is love. Time for you to understand the full character of God. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day of every week of every month of every year, the God of the Bible is angry with your sin. Time for you to repent and know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to start living holy. Time for you to start honoring God. Time for you to stop watching TV, listening to bad music, watching pornography, swearing, cussing, drinking, smoking. All of these things are a road to hellfire. Time for you to repent and honor the God of the Bible before you die. If you're a Muslim, your prophet is a pedophile. If you're a Catholic, do not pray to the Virgin Mary. That's called idolatry. That's breaking the second commandment. Time for you to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible before you die. Life is but a vapor, like a puff of smoke. That's what 60 years is, 70 years is, even 90 years, compared to eternity with God. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible, people. Heaven or hell, when you die. We're all going to live one time, die one time, meet God one time. You stand around, you're in awe over the ocean and the landscape. How about being in awe over God who created such? You give more credit to the creation than rather than the creator. You look at all the splendor here in Hawaii, and yet you don't even acknowledge God. You're not even thankful to God. What's wrong with that picture? God told that ocean, that's as far as you go. The Bible says, God said, let there be light. God in heaven is the creator of everything you're looking at. Time for you to start giving God some credit, giving God some honor, giving God some glory. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Read the Bible, everybody. Don't forget about Jesus. Most of you only acknowledge God when you're in pro when you have a problem. You cry out to God when you're living a, a problem. You need financial aid. You cry out to God. You got a problem with marriage. You cry out to God. You got a problem with alcohol. You cry out to God. You need to cry out to God for salvation. Time for you to get serious about the God of the Bible. Time for you to get serious about God before you die. There's no guarantee you're going to live past tomorrow. Time for you to get serious about Jesus Christ. Heaven, hell, when you die. Nothing complicated. Bible, 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 people. Like Time for you to read the Bible. This guy is, uh, doing the Bible's everywhere He's here in there. Hawaii. He's got all these you're out of state, you're from another country, there's most likely a Bible in that, uh, like, no, in that hotel room you know, that you're staying. Chairs, uh, Time to know the God of the Bible. You're not going to find a Quran. You're not going to find a Book of Mormon. Time for you to start reading that Bible and serving God. Stop being ashamed of God. You acknowledge a football team, you acknowledge a politician, you acknowledge music, how about acknowledging Jesus Christ? He only died for you. He only bled for you. He only rose from the dead for you. He might be coming back one day, possibly for you. Time to obey God. More Bible, less booze. More Bible, less fornication. More Bible, less drinking. More Bible, less pornography. More Bible, less TV. More Bible, less of your life. Time to read the Bible. Time to know the God of the Bible. If God even gives you 70 years, the Bible says, that's like a vapor, like a puff of smoke, compared to eternity with God. You want to go to heaven? Doesn't mean you go to church. Jesus Christ said, except a man be born again, he cannot 
inherit the kingdom of God. That's a condition for you to go into God's holy kingdom. Time for you to repent and obey the God of the Bible. Time for you to get serious about Jesus Christ. Just like Hawaii is surrounded by an ocean, the Bible speaks of a lake of fire. They're saying, they're saying, oh, if they wanted to follow a harassment claim right now, we would do that. But what are they doing? Sure. By that standard, they're harassing the hotel. That's exactly right. If you can't protest the protesters without that being right. harassment, they're being protected by the police. I don't get that. Yeah. Well, as soon as we brought up that the officer said they can stand on the sidewalk, that's when, okay, go ahead. Where are you guys going? Yeah. So, yeah. So you can, you can argue with it all day long. There's just a small, like, we need to get here, so. Stand. Just by yeah. Yeah. It's over. Okay. We can argue with those guys, and then for sure they'll show up for his dad. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. We don't need a big fight. We don't need to aggravate. Apparently, they've got a short chain that's connected to the union. Are you on that list? All right. Here we go. Uh, yeah. yeah. You look like about five. You look like about eight. Thank you. You look at least eight. The Bible says, "From a child, thou hast known the holy scriptures." Which is able to make you wise and to salvation. Hey, buddy. What's up, brother? Good, how much? Got nine seconds. Nine seconds. Scriptures that you know that says All right. God's We're doing a march, but if you want to march with us. Go for the march, man. To do so ever. I'll talk to you later. Is that about eight years? Huh? Is that about eight years? Yeah, he's just an old guy. Yeah, he's a local guy, a friend of mine. An acquaintance, I guess. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the only name, the God, the Son of God, the only God, the Son of God. Huh? What is Moana? And this is the Moana Surf Rider? No, the the light light I don't know what Moana means, but yeah. That it's... men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds yeah, yeah. were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hated the light, rather come into the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. That they are manifest, that they are wrought in God. We want to point you to the cross, to the Lord Jesus Christ, who can save you from eternal damnation. Today is the day of salvation, tomorrow is never promised. That in the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We want to point you to the cross. God, I love you so much. The Son is one and only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We love you so much. The Bible says that God demonstrates His own love for us. And I'm one of you who is the sinner who is Christ by the cross. Even though we're not justified by His blood, to escape the time of wrath through Him. Jesus said that if you know me, that if you love me, keep my commandments. The Bible says to love my Lord and my God with all our hearts, soul, and mind, and strength. And to love thy neighbor and thyself. Let not be thy neighbor. On the fourth basis of sin is death. And the free gift of God is eternal life. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. For all have sinned. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is no one righteous, no not one.
Bible says, for the preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that are perishing, but to us who are being saved is the power of God. The Bible says in Acts 4, 12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. We must be saved. There is one God and one You're so close, they can't read your sign. You might as well put your sign up. Leave at least a 10 foot gap per sign. So you'll set the pace, brother. Just slow it slow down. down a bit. Okay, right. Nineveh didn't, uh, uh, Jonah didn't walk through Nineveh fast. With these signs, let them read it. You're going by so fast, you know, they uh, they pretty much just hear some quick preaching. So just yeah. slow the pace down a little bit. Well, yeah. You're going to be here for a while, so leave a gap in between your next banner. Can I, can I also uh, make a suggestion? Alex, go to the back so we can get some footage of the single line. Nice. I'm sorry? Can he go to the back so we can get some video of our march? Sure. Can you go to the back, Alex? Can we Thanks. put you in front to lead? Because he's like, if he's got to take a break, that'd be, that would help us to slow down. You want I'm to doing fine. It's not because of me. It's because Ruben, yeah. I don't know, maybe, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Speed. We just, we're just concerned. All right. Oh, is that what it was? He just oh. Oh, I can go ahead and lead us, bro. Just, just a, a slower pace, and we'll make sure the banners are have Roger a nice that, Roger that. Roger that. Let's do it. Sorry. Okay. No, I didn't know that's what he was up to. Yeah, so 10 feet between each banner yeah, at least. Yeah. You want me to go first? I'm just going straight? Uh, I'll lead, but just uh, just, I'll go, just, to just tell me if, tell me how okay. fast to go. Sorry, I, I'm a fast walker. I didn't realize he was... Uh, no, Ruben right. is a real protector, you know? No, that's, we need that. Yeah. We need it. I but appreciate he's like it. grabbing my shirt coming out of that stuff. I'm like, all right, Angie, leave me alone now. That's just Ruben. He wants to take care of his soldiers, even the wounded ones. Yeah. What are these guys doing? You go a little fast. I'll vouch for you. <laughs> so are all the hotels on strike or only the Sheridan's? Uh, I don't think they're all on strike. Just the union ones. I, don't, I think they're not all union. That's, that's probably what it is. I'm shocked at how many. I'm shocked at how many are. Prepare to meet yeah. thy God. Have you made preparations for your soul? It's either two places where you end up, heaven or hell. They obviously got their orders from the police chief. The very words of Jesus Christ. Make a way for he the said, strike. When I tell you in darkness that speak ye in the light, and what you hear in the ear that preach ye upon the housetops, and fear not them which can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. For all the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. To those whom I love are rebuked and chastened. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Jesus said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. People of Avayne and all our visitors, Visiting our islands, We're being followed by this gospel police. will be preached to all the world, and then the end shall come. The Bible says that he that endures until the end, the same shall not. be saved. So he said. Come to the cross, friends. Today is the day of salvation. God said that if you love me, keep my commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it be good or evil. The very hairs of your heads are all numbered. He knows each and every one of you. Each and every one of us. Jesus said that you must be born again. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.17 that if any man be Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. You become a new creature in the eyes of God. 
Yeah. When you were we're born again. Up now. We're splitting up. This is a pro this is bad. We're not organized, man. Not good. Don't let it. Don't go too far ahead of them. Keep an eye on, on everybody behind us too. So yell at us. Keep us in, the, in a in a in a convoy. We gotta stay in a convoy yeah, together. Yeah, I guess so. Let's back up towards Ruben. Let's go back towards Ruben. That if my people, that if my people who are called by my name, that look like a will humble themselves, pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive them of their sin, and will hear their land. Where's our billboard? Today's the day of salvation, friends. Oh, only Reuben has one. You don't know what's going to happen to you. Reuben's got one. We all have okay. a number. Yeah. And that word is. So that number is Hebrews 9:27, and it says, "And oh. as it is appointed unto men I once see to die." Reuben and Jesse and on this one. You never know, but God does. There are people dying every single day. And their lives is nothing but a vapor, a mist. The Bible says, "Where is ye know not what is on the morrow? What is on the morrow? For what is what is what is your life, which is even nothing but a vapor that appears just a little while?" Just a little while, then it vanishes away. Here today, gone tomorrow, we like to say, but the Bible says, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, and then after that comes the judgment. Are there two places you will end up? Heaven or hell? That's why Jesus said that you must be born again. Jesus talks about a place where the worm dieth not, and where you have no sleep, no rest, day nor night. The words of Jesus Christ. From Revelation 14, 11, he says that the smoke of the torment ascended up forever and ever, where they have no rest, day nor night. So friends, come to the cross, repent of sin. Repentance is a change of heart, a change of direction, a change of mind, a 180, a very turning away from the thing that God abhors, what he hates, and that is sin. Again, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. Come to the cross, friends. Today is the day of salvation. This is the message that we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light. In him there's no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have yeah, fellowship with one says, another uh, in the blood of uh, Jesus Christ, His Son, purifies us from all sins. And he says, yeah, but there's some says, union enter, guys over enter, there, yeah, the and they're going to come after you. And the so the police won't even lie. The wine is broad as the road that leads to destruction. And many that are going there are. The straight and narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life. And then you got on the radio, and then that was kind of it after that. It is easier for okay. a camel oh, to drive a needle than for a rich man to drive a needle. If you want to stay in a location and move another what one, that's fine. I want to keep moving, but I want to keep it in order like you said. Yeah. 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 I, I appreciate yeah. you. You're, you're, you're the lead guy, so if you start going, I'll, I'll bring them. So we, we got the 10-foot rule. That's great. Stay together. Don't Try to stay in a, stay in a nice uh, order, 10 feet apart. You know, If somebody falls behind, say, hey, slow down, slow down. Yeah. You know, let us know. And here we go again. We're going to keep going this way.
Going to a city for the first time while actually preaching. Isn't that pretty nice? Well, it happens, like, a it lot. happens a lot for you out there. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I, mean. <clears throat> I, I, I had no idea this would be so busy. Oh, it's always busy. This is a at, at night, oh, I know. At night, it's just way more people. Yeah. It's usually really hot today. It's kind of hard to preach today. Rex does it all the time. I'm happy where I'm at. I could think There's a bar down here, the Kelly O'Neill's and then uh, Moose McGillicuddy's at night. That's they're open until four. So it's just you can come right on this corner and down through here and preach to all the drug and partiers. So that's like the main bar for like the party or at night. Sheraton is right in here and they're they're on strike as well. We were on this corner a lot, but we're gonna go across now. Heaven or hell, what's your choice? Where are you going? Heaven or hell? You want to preach on the way back now? Yeah. His name is Jesus Christ. Are we going to head back now? We're going to we're going to go right back down the same artery, I guess. And then Jesse, I guess you want to put him on the horn. Take the horn. All right. Good job, Arthur, on that. Oh, wow. Gonna switch preachers for a moment and head back. Do it again. Oh, he's got that one.
And it's your choice. Now most people out here today are choosing sin. And the choice of sin is the choice for hell. If you want to live a life of sin, you're choosing a life that leads to hell. If you're just out here looking for sin, looking for the bar, looking for the club, looking for the women, I want you to know the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. Yes, God sees your sin. God sees every deed done in darkness. And there's coming a day, a great and terrible day called Judgment Day, when you're going to stand before a holy God and give an account for all of your life. That's why the Bible says you must repent. You must turn from your sin. Praise God. God took on human flesh. God became a man. And He died for our sin. Jesus Christ died for you. He shed His blood for you. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Hallelujah! Jesus Christ is alive! Amen. And He conquered the grave. The only hope you have is that Jesus Christ is alive. There's salvation in His name. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. See, Jesus Christ can solve the greatest problems of your life, which is sin, death, and hell. That's the greatest problems that you face. Sin, death, and hell. And through Jesus Christ, you can have deliverance from them all. Through Jesus Christ, there's deliverance from sin, death, and hell. The fact is, most people don't care about God. Who cares about the Bible? Who cares about Jesus? Let's just get drunk, get high, and get laid. That's how most people live their lives. Get drunk, get high, get laid. See, America's turning its back on God. Every major city in America today has their gay pride parades. Because who cares what God wants? You confuse the digestive system with the reproductive system. Because who cares what God wants? Oh, it's time to repent, America. It's time to repent, Hawaii. It's time to repent. The Bible says that God is calling all men everywhere to repent. Because He's appointed a day in which He will judge the world in righteousness by the man Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible says, Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Yes, God wants you to have a pure heart. The Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the kingdom of God. Can you say you're pure in heart today? Can you say your heart is pure before a holy God. You see, God is terrifying. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. Jesus said, don't fear man who can destroy the body and then can do no more. Jesus said, fear God who can destroy body and soul in hell. That's what Jesus said. Fear God, who can destroy body and soul in hell. That's what Hawaii needs, the fear of God. I'll tell you what, if you have the fear of God, you won't go to the beach wearing a bikini. If you get a fear of God in your heart, you're not going to be a homosexual or a lesbian. If you get the fear of God in your heart, you're not going to go to the bar and get intoxicated. What America needs is the fear of God. The Bible says, by the fear of the Lord, Men depart from iniquity by the fear of the Lord. Men depart from iniquity. That's what America needs more than ever before. The fear of God. The Bible says He's coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on those who know not God and on those who obey not the gospel. He's coming back in flaming fire are you ready for His return? Are you ready for the coming of Christ? Have you obeyed His gospel today? The
call of the gospel is to repent of your sins, to believe in Jesus Christ. The Bible says repent, turn to God, and do works before repentance. Repent, turn to God, and do works before repentance. What's your life look like today? When God looks at your heart, what does He see? Purity or wickedness? Righteousness or un unrighteousness? What does God see when He looks at your life today? The Bible says the carnal mind is enmity with God. If you're living a life, you just want to get drunk, get high, get laid, get money. And you're carnally minded. That makes you an enemy of God. Sinfully minded. An enemy of your maker. Oh, it's time to be reconciled to God. You need to be reconciled to God. The Bible says the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Have you ever thought that you're the object of the wrath of God? Have you ever thought that your sin makes you the object of God's hate? Of God's holy and righteous anger? Have you ever thought that your fornication is sending your soul to hell? That your homosexuality is sending your soul to hell? That you're lying, you're stealing, you're drug using, you're alcohol. It's sending your soul to hell. Have you ever thought about where you're going to spend eternity? See, God created you a living soul. God created you a living soul. Your soul will live on long after your body dies. The Bible says we will all appear before the judgment seat of God. We will all appear before His great white throne. Let me tell you, you don't get the fear of God in your heart in this life. You'll get it. You'll get it at the judgment throne of God. You'll get the fear of God in your heart when you stand before His courtroom. And you look at your life, your pathetic, miserable, wicked, sinful life. No good for God. No good for the world. God judges you for every sin you ever committed. Oh, don't you see why you need Jesus Christ? Don't you see why Jesus had to die for you? Don't you see why His blood was spilled for you? Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. The only way you can have your sin forgiven is through the blood of Jesus Christ. God will... That will set aside your damnation. Good little artery here. Bro. If you Good repent, God will remit your penalty. If you repent, sure. I got good news and I have bad news. The bad news, folks, you deserve to go to hell. That's the bad news. You deserve to go to hell. If you're a sinner, if you've ever sinned, just one sin, you deserve to go to hell. That's bad news. But I have good news as well. God offers you what you don't deserve. God offers you everlasting life. God offers you the forgiveness of sin. And in order to receive the forgiveness of God, the Bible says you must repent and believe. See, there's power in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved from what? He shall save His people from their sin. Yes. The Bible says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old is past, and the new is come. Oh, if you're a drunkard, you can become a sober man through Jesus Christ. If you're a homosexual, you can become a normal man through Jesus Christ. If you're a liar, you can become an honest man through Jesus Christ. You can be a new man. You can be a new person with a new heart and a new mind. The Bible says unless a man is born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. Well, you can't go to heaven in your sin. You can't stand before God in your sin. You have to be changed. You have to be born again. You have to be made righteous. That comes by submitting your life to Jesus Christ. Give up your warfare against God. If you're living in sin, you're a rebel against God. If you're violating your own conscience, disobeying your own conscience, you're a rebel against God. 
And you need to be reconciled. You need to submit and surrender to God today. How's your soul? Are you ready to stand before the judgment seat of God? Are you ready to stand before the judgment throne of God? Sin! You know where it leads? Hell! Sin leads to hell! That's your takeaway from today. That's your take home. Uh, sin leads to hell! You're living in sin, you're going to hell! That's why you need to turn, turn from sin and turn to God. You're an idiot. You know what an idiot is? A sinner. Jesus said, if you hear my sayings and obey them not, you're a foolish man building your house upon the Jesus sand. Jesus is ashamed of you. Jesus no, no, no. of you. If you're a sinner, which you are, you're a disappointment to God. Everybody's a sinner. You're, what kind of person? Stop you're being a sinner. You're a disappointment to God. Why are you so no, judgmental? Like you just judge everybody. Yeah, you're a bad person. You're a bad person. God is, God is ashamed of you. No, no, no. God loves me. He loves me, but he is very disappointed in you. He is so disappointed. Sin is stupid, so stop being sinners. Sin is stupid. Stop sinning. The Bible says if you hear his sayings and obey them not, you're like a foolish man that builds your house upon the sand. And what were the sayings of Jesus? Unless you repent, you will perish. You start with that. Unless you repent, you will perish, Jesus said. Unless a man is born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. That's what Jesus said. You need to be born again. Wicked! 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 That's what America has become. Wicked! And the Bible says the wicked will be cast into hell. The wicked will be cast into hell. You know what Isaiah said? The prophet Isaiah said, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord our God and he will abundantly pardon let the wicked forsake his way. Praise God, I have friends who are ex-homosexual. I have friends who are ex-witches. I have friends who are ex-drunkards. You can change your life. You can change your ways. You can change your future. Fuck keep, you! Uh, keep your STDs to yourself. I'll pass. Keep your STDs to yourself. I'll pass. All these women always soliciting me for sex. This place is so wicked. So wicked. You need to repent, you're a wicked woman. You're going to stand before God, give an account for your life. The Bible says we will all appear before the judgment seat. We will all stand before the judgment throne of God. Every sin of your life, you're going to have to answer for it. Every sin of your life, you're going to have to answer to God for it. God is holy, and He hates sin. God is righteous, and He hates wickedness. Oh, God is angry, the Bible says. God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day. Every day you choose to be a sinner, you're under the anger of God. Every day you break the law of God, you're under His wrath. That's why He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for you. That's why Jesus spilled His blood for you. The Bible says, flee from the wrath that's to come. The Bible says, you generation of vipers, flee from the wrath that's to come. Hallelujah. Jesus died for you, He spilt His blood for you, and on the third day, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And I'm here to tell you, God wants you to repent. God is calling all men everywhere to repent. The way of salvation has been provided. The Bible says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation. How do you think you'll escape the judgment of God? 
How do you think you'll escape the wrath of God? How do you think you'll escape the anger of God if you don't repent, if you don't turn, if you don't change your ways, if you're not born again, if you don't come to Jesus, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Oh, your works, your works can't save you. They're pathetic before a holy God. Oh, any of the goodness you think you have won't save you. It's pathetic before the eyes of a holy God. You need His mercy. You need His grace. You need His blood. You need to repent. The Bible says the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. I want you to know if you're a drunkard, you're on your way to hell. If you're a fornicator, you're on your way to hell. If you're a homosexual or a lesbian, you're on your way to hell. And you need to turn around, change your ways, repent, and turn to God. The Bible says repent, turn to God, and do works meet for repentance. What are your works today? Preach, brother, preach. What are the works that God sees today? So if you love, then stop sitting. Don't wear a bikini at the beach. You'll be a temptress. Women wear bikinis at the beach, showing the curvature of their body, tempting every man in public. That's not love. That's not love. That's lust. Lust. Ready, brother? Here we go. Let's get them going. Here we go. We're gonna go again. Here we go. Starting to hike. I'm going to Mars Head, but when you guys stop, you got to tell them. No problem. I'll go nine blocks and I'm going. Just after the end of the block, stop. <laughs> Look back. Read the Bible, it's good for your soul. Read the Bible, it's good for your mind. Read the Bible, it can change your life. Hallelujah, 18 years ago, locked up, I started reading the Bible. It changed my heart, it changed my mind, it changed my life. What America needs is not to legalize marijuana. What America needs is to open up their Bibles. America needs to read the Bible. You know, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ the Lord. The Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith. You can be saved by the grace of God. You put your faith in the Son, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. The Bible says, He that believes not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the only name, the name of the only begotten Son of God. The Bible says, he that sins is of the devil. Who are you of today, God or the devil? God lets you choose, good or evil, right or wrong. God lets you pick. He that sins is of the devil, the Bible says. But whosoever has been born of God does not commit sin. Hallelujah. See, you can be born again. Be made righteous. Be made holy. You will just repent and cry out to God. You can become a new person, receive a new heart. There is coming a day, a great and terrible day, the judgment day of God. And you're going to have to answer for every sin of your life. And if you repent of your sins, the Bible says your sins can be blotted out. Your sins can be blotted out if you'll repent. If you repent. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day. God is angry with the wicked every day. You know how many lives fear has ruined? You know how many lives? Can't even count them. How many lives have been ruined on alcohol? Hey, let me tell you something. If you get drunk on alcohol, you're stupid. You're poisoning your own body. Wasting your own money to poison your body on alcohol. You know what you should do? 
Spend that money and buy a Bible. Read the Bible. Yeah, if you get drunk on alcohol, you're just stupid. Totally stupid. Poison your body, destroy your liver, destroy your kidneys, pump your body full of toxic substance. You know why you vomit your alcohol? Because your body is smarter than you are. That's why people vomit their alcohol out. It's time for you to get the wisdom of God. Sin is foolishness. Sin is madness. Sin is moral insanity. That's what sin is. Most people today just want to live lives of sin, forget God, ignore God. People today just want to get drunk, get high, get laid. And of course, get money. This is carnality. And the carnal mind is enmity against God. You don't understand. God sees your sin from heaven. It angers him. Makes him un... He gets full of indignation and wrath when he sees the sin of the world. Provoked to indignation and wrath. So read your Bible! Luke 3, 14. Be content with your ways. Luke 3, 14. John the Baptist. So the Bible says God is calling all men everywhere to repent because he's appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man Jesus Christ. There's coming a day when God is going to judge your life for every beer that you guzzle, every joint that you smoke, Every act of sexual immorality, God is going to judge your life. Oh, you need the fear of God. It's time for America to fear God. Why should you fear God? Because he'll send you to hell. Jesus said, don't fear man who can destroy the body and men can do nothing but fear God. Who can destroy body and soul in hell? America needs the fear of God. Fear God and keep His commandments. This is the whole duty of man. Fear God and give glory to Him. This is the everlasting gospel. Fear God. That's what America needs. The fear of God. Why should you fear God? Because He'll burn your soul forever and ever. That's a good reason to fear God. Because he will send you to hell forever and ever and ever. That's why you should fear God. That's what Jesus said. Fear God. We're going to destroy body and soul in hell. But America today doesn't fear God. America is full of abortion. America is full of homosexuality. America is full of drug use and alcohol and prostitution and pornography. Oh, America is full of sin, sin, sin. And you know where that goes? to hell, hell, hell. America's on the pathway to hell. America's on a path of destruction. America's on a collision course with God. America's on a collision course with God. How long do you think God's going to put up with your sin? How long do you think God's going to put up with the sin of America? Oh, sooner or later, your time will come. Your life will be over. Your days will be over. There's coming a day. One day, you're all going to die. You're all going to die. And then you're going to stand before God. Are you going to be ready? The Bible says, prepare to meet your maker. Prepare to stand before God. Oh, don't be an idiot. Where do you think the genetic code came from? 
Hancock. Well, you don't have a book without a mind. You don't have a genetic code without intelligence. Who do you think wrote the genetic code? Darwin didn't even know about it. How long has it your, how your long? science is so outdated? How, how long has there been Earth, life on Earth? You need to get back. How many? How, many, how long has there been life on What's Earth? What's the only known cause of intelligent information? An intelligent mind. Who wrote the genetic code? And who, who says? It wasn't Charlie Darwin. It Darwin didn't killed. even know the genetic code existed. No, but it came by evolution. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're a fool with a microphone. You're a fool. You're a fool with a microphone. You reject God because you hate him. So I yeah, you got sin in your life. What are you, a drunkard, a homosexual, a masturbator? What's your sin? You're a pedophile? What? What is it? Why do you hate God? I don't hate God. You do. I, I just hate stupid people who think there is a God. You ignore God. He wrote his law upon your heart, you ignore it. You wouldn't even have life in your body if God didn't write your genetic code. Oh, yeah. genetic code can't You're gonna millions, stand millions of years that's nonsense. You're gonna you can't have a you can't even have one cell without a genetic code. Not even one. Uh, there's your science about, is out of date. Have you ever heard about viruses and other things? You're gonna stand before God. He's gonna judge your life. The God that you've rejected, the God that you ignored, uh, yeah, the God that you've hated all your life, you're going to stand you're before him. Darwin. It's time you for you to repent. Charles Darwin? Charlie Darwin had the mind of a monkey. And a, and Charles Darwin had the mind of a monkey. And Harvard University and Yale University and University of California, Berkeley. Come on. Foolishness. Sounds like a bunch the of Democrats. The fool has said in his heart there is no God. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Time to know the God of the Bible. It's time to know the God of the Bible. Jesus Christ is the only way to God. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. All other ways lead to hell. Jesus Christ said, all who ever came before me were of thieves and robbers. Jesus Christ is the only way to God. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. You're wearing two different fabrics right now. All other ways lead to hell. What are you, a homosexual? Because no. that's like the oldest, lamest yeah. Bible dodge that the homos use, mixed fabrics. You need to know more about the Bible than mixed fabrics. Every time we hear about the mixed fibers, it's about some sodomite. Some sodomite is into doing perverted things with another man, but oh, we're wearing mixed fibers. Very irrelevant. What does that have to do with you going to hell? What does that have to do with you going to hell? You've got a problem. You anger God. God's very disappointed with your life. You've wasted your life. You've wasted your life selfishly. You have to do something about the anger of God over your life. You've wasted your life chasing money. You've wasted your life chasing pleasure. You've wasted your life chasing and chasing after that makes you an enemy of God. You think science explains the way God? You just believe what you're told. You're not a scientist. Maybe you're a bong scientist. Maybe you're a liquor scientist. But you're no scientist if you think science disproves God. That just means you're a good student in school and you listen to what you were told. That doesn't make you an individual thinker. That doesn't make you a unique person. You know how to repeat the brainwash you've had for years. That makes you a good robot. Now it's time to understand your natural urges, obeying your flesh, obeying your lusts, obeying your inner evil. It's sending you to hell. All that lust doesn't make you a man. It makes you a dog. All that lust in your heart, all the pornography, does not make you a man, that makes you less than an animal. Dogs have sexual urges too. That's why we castrate them. That's why we fix them, to keep them in line. Today, to hear God's voice, harden not your heart, it's time to repent. That means to stop and turn to God. Cry out in humility towards God. Jesus Christ bled and died for your forgiveness. Jesus Christ paid the price for your forgiveness. Perfect Son of God. The only Son of God. Jesus Christ is the only way to God. Not Islam. Jesus Christ is not just some guy. He's not a prophet. He's the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the only one that died for your sins. Not Buddha. Not Muhammad. 
Jesus Christ is the only way to God. Jesus Christ alone rose from the dead. Jesus Christ said that he will judge you. The Bible says we'll all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. The Bible says God is a judge. God judges people. God, God puts people in heaven or hell. Most people are going to hell. Jesus Christ said most people are going to hell where the flames are hot and you go in there and you never get out. It's time to serve God. It's time to stop taking Jesus' name in vain like a curse word. It's time to start praying to that God that you hate. That God that you hate. You refuse to serve God. You refuse to love Jesus. You choose to believe lies. Lies like there is no God. You choose to believe lies. Lies like all religions lead to heaven. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. The devil's laughing at you. Don't be a fool. It's time to turn to Jesus Christ. It's time to turn to the God of our fathers. The God of the Bible. The God that you used to pray to. The God that you know condemns you. Did you say you're gay? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. It's okay to be gay and happy, but the gay, the homos have hijacked the word gay. They've hijacked the word gay, it used to mean happy, now it means you're a, a pervert. It's sad. They're perverting happiness. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only way to God. If you ignore Jesus Christ, you're choosing hell. Hell is more than just separation from God. The Bible says it's torment, a place designed for the devil and his angels and everyone who chooses to follow him. Heaven is a place designed for the Lord God and all of his children. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. We have eyewitnesses, 500 eyewitnesses of the resurrected Jesus Christ. We celebrate Christmas time, we celebrate Easter, but you hate Jesus Christ. That was stupid. That was really stupid. I got all that on camera, you clown. You're a lucky guy. You're a lucky guy. Back off. Give me my space. Back away. Don't be stupid. You don't want to go to jail. You don't want to go to jail. You're lucky. You're lucky I'm a Christian. Say what you say when I was playing fucking Palillo. Say that now to my face. Say what? Say what? What you said? Keep swinging that around. Keep swinging that around. It has nothing to do with Jesus. It has what? Nothing to do with Jesus. Back off. No, no, say it. Say what? Say it like a man. Be a fucking man. Say it to my fucking face. Yeah, I mean, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't come here to Hawaii to listen to this crap. Who cares what you came here for? Well, me, you get an education. Who cares? You know, Charles Darwin dropped out of get theology school. That's the only college degree he had.
but the end thereof are the ways of death. It's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death.